I'll begin. Um, so um, I'm travelling to Wallington actually, and I've this train is come across a passenger who was Epsom very Dunham. frustrated uh, at the last stop, and I just wanted to ask him Warden. to share with us his Steve frustrations of using the service of Lexi King. Would you like to tell us your name? Yes, Jeff Long is the mm -hmm. name. And um, where are you trying to get to, and what? I'm going to Sutton. It's actually not so much a service issue as yes. a disability issue. Yes. London Overground and all the rail companies and the tube have a system of getting assistance when you arrive at a destination, which is a, a very good system and for which I am duly grateful. Good. My frustration is that for some unaccountable reason they always insist that we should sit in the coach behind the driver. Okay. No matter where the exit is, in this case about 120 yards back from the front of the train. Right. Which means that if the assistance doesn't arrive, not only have you got no assistance, but you're as far away from the exit as oh you can get. And as far away from other passengers who might have got off at that station. And also, um, if you don't mind me asking, what um, impairment do you have? Oh, total blindness. So that's going to be particularly difficult if it's a jam-packed uh, platform. No, if it's jam-packed, it's easy. It's when it's empty, it's difficult. Okay. I can always knock people over if All it's right. jam-packed. <laughs> but it's and, the distance uh, that you actually have to traverse that's... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If, because if I'm getting off at an exit... Uh, off a train at the wrong end of the train from the exit. Yes. It'll be. It will be empty, even if the even if the train was packed. Okay. Because nobody who wants to alight at that station will be at the wrong end of the train. But did you find that staff along the way were as well informed as you would have liked to expect? It's not. I don't blame the individual staff member. It's some kind of management rule which right. actually nobody will admit to having. I've had this out with London, with TfL, yes. and they deny that there is such a rule. Right. Um, they, they deny that they, they um, make their people, but every staff member tells me that they are told to put the passenger aboard in the front carriage, irrespective of which carriage they're, they're act they actually need. I mean, if I were three years old, perhaps I could understand, you know, having a set yes. of inflexible rules but I'm actually 67 and I've, yes. I've had a professional career and I really do think I ought to be able now to decide for myself which carriage I sit in. Uh, so just now um, you asked for that to happen right so the well I, I just staff I just refused to yes. get on at the end of the train and commanded the, the bloke to um, take me to where the exit was, which I right. didn't think was at the front of the train. No. And, you know, I'm sorry yes. that I had to bully <laughs> the guy, because I'm sure he was bullied by his superior, right. or his controller, yes. or whatever. It's not really his fault. Yes. It's And the, it's, it's annoying because the management of yes. TfL won't even admit it. No, right, now this is my stop. Look, thanks oh, very much yep, for okay. sharing your insight. No problem, I, I very much appreciate it, and I'm, I'm going to um, bring uh, this to the attention of, of my colleagues in the party, if that's right, and I think well, um, they'd like uh, do something to know it, about yeah. it. Yeah. This goes for a lot of right. people. <laughs> Take care, yes. Okay, cheers, sir. Bye. This train is <coughs> service.